Hey guys, back to a new video. Today we have right here Toyota CHR. This is the pre-facelift. I know Toyota already show off, present the new Toyota CHR, but I still had the chance to have this car for two days, for the last two days, and I was wondering why not reviewing one more time and i have it before on my reviews probably you already see it on my channel i have test drive i have consumption test i have all kind of b-rolls with this car but i was like okay i have the car for two days why not making another video and i have today from the morning until now it's like five o'clock in the evening and i'm super impressed with this car i was never think i would like this car so much i come from my tesla model y to drive this chr and i'm crazy impressed with how silent how smooth how economical and how easy it is to drive this car in the city and not only and in this video i kind of want to make a an overall of my experience with this car for kind of two days and i want to take you with me we will go outside to drive a little bit to see the consumption toyota claim that on this version that i have with me by the way i have with me the two liter petrol engine actually it's a hybrid but the version with two liter petrol engine combined with an electric motor and a small battery it has a small battery around 1.1 kilowatt hour bigger electric motor and of course the petrol engine together all the power 184 horsepower 190 newton meter it's kind of complicated to to calculate all those things because actually the petrol engine has 154 horsepower and the electric motor 100 and something and together was like 261 but if you put it together they managed to get 184 horsepower it's complicated the system is complicated but i have to tell you that as you probably know toyota make one of the best hybrid system in the world and this is a full hybrid it's able to drive in electric mode but just for one two kilometers and sometimes just coasting and starting and in the parking lot but if you press the acceleration it will kick off the the petrol engine also it comes with the ecvt automatic transmission that mean you have like a constantly flow of acceleration so you feel like you're driving an electric car but it's not a fully electric car and this is a good thing what is not so good when you press it too much it start to to be a little bit louder those rpm and the, the rev on the engine it start to growing and that will be sometimes a little bit disappointing but in general the comfort the visibility the economy and the way it feels over the bumps was gorgeous and in this video i want to take you through around the car to explain you different things for example for me in the city i want to show you right now in the trunk because i drive most of the the time in the city i need some bags and stuff like that the trunk it's on this two liter hybrid version it's a little bit smaller than on the 1.8 liter i think with 20 or 30 liters smaller but for me it was just perfect i mean i think if you have kids or one kid i think it's just fine you, you will be just fine with this uh, trunk even though many people said that it's a little bit smaller but if we think about this car it's a crossover suv it's smaller it's compact it's easy to drive in the city i think it's more than enough and you can you can fit in here a lot of stuff you can see here on the side you, you can have one or two bottle of water two liters and here you can put your bags i have an example for you you have a net that the car come with and under the floor I want to show you that you still have the repair kit you know and you have also the spare tire and a small 12 volt battery right there so you have plenty of uh, space also you have hooks in the in the trunk here of course this version this pre facelift version it has a few minuses that I will try to, to give you really fast but in general it's quite good and what i like about this car excepting the fact that you can take out this protection you can stay there to show you because if you fall down the seat let me adjust the front seat because i filmed something there in the front and the seat was was remaining like that on the back but let me show you something once you fall down the seats here in the back you will have a completely flat floor and i will add on the image to make an idea but also you can check out here everything is flat and i like that very much so even though 
you don't have a big trunk once you fall down the seats you will find out that you have more than enough space another minus that i find to the car is the fact that it has this small window right here so that means where you are inside the car you don't have such a good visibility but look at this look at the entrance you have minus and plus the plus thing is that you have a huge entrance and you have plenty of space to put a lot of stuff there even on the legs room even on the back if you fall down the seats you have plenty of of, of space but yeah the minuses are like the visibility in the back i think this is the the biggest and kind of the only minus that i find to the car is that visibility here but other than that the car is really good i was impressed to see how good is the car then of course on the exterior design we have a few flaws like for example the lights even though they look gorgeous the design of the car exterior design of the car it's incredible beautiful and i love it i mean at least the back of the car look just gorgeous i mean the lines the way they design the spoiler down kind of a spoiler down here with glossy plastic and then we have the tinted windows on the side then we have this beautiful beautiful roof spoiler that in from my point of view it's one of the most beautiful i love it i really love how they designed this the black roof look gorgeous also the radio antenna in a shark tail it looks so so nice from my point of view even the the logo here look nice and even the down part on the bumper with a little bit of chrome kind of a fake exhaust pipes the real one is down there look really nice but the flaws are that here on the number plate is not a big problem you have normal bulb light you can install uh, led light and will look gorgeous but here on the tail lights where they look so nice i mean the design is so beautiful we still have on this chr those uh, halogen light also on the uh, turning signals and also on the tail light but in general it looks so so good the back it's gorgeous really no wonder why they sell so many cars in the world and it's so love this car what i like again it's also those plastic protection around the wheels and on the down part of the car then you have 18 inch wheels that i think not only that they look good but they they fit really nice on the car and the car look beautiful with those rims then you have this protection down here on the on the down part of the door so if you hit something you will be protected again great big mirrors great visibility from the mirrors you the car come standard on this version is the style version this is the entry level version on the two liter hybrid you know so that mean is the most cheap entry level version around 35,000 euro and the price is not bad for what this car can do and we will drive a little bit later and i will show you that it comes with also with autopilot that means the car can stay between the lanes it has adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that safety features and they work really nice i was impressed so big mirrors really nice also on the side we have ventilated brake this on the front normal brake this on the rear now let's go in the front actually let me turn on the lights because i want to show you the lights in the front check this out on the front we have normal for the low beam we have led for the high beam led for the daylight running light led but the turning signals and the halogen light the fog lamp are halogen lights you know and this is something that i wish was different but other than that really beautiful the front end really smooth nice kind of a toyota signature as you probably know the exterior design of the car also here is the toyota logo behind this logo is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features so in general i like the car you know the more i stay with the car the more i like it you know and i'm i'm kind of proud to drive this car and i know toyota make fabulous cars they are super reliable i mean uh, you can trust this engine for many i think you can make easily half million miles with with this hybrid system and let me tell you a story for example in romania they offer like six year warranty or 20,000 kilometers that mean for 20,000 kilometers or six years you don't have to worry about anything everything is under warranty and the battery that it comes with the battery for the from the hybrid system it has 10 years warranty that's super nice i mean more than enough more than most of the manufacturers they offer and they really trust this system because it's really really good so 
other than that, from what I heard, they have also a lot of cars, a lot of CHR on stock these days. And also, not only in my country, but also in other countries as well in Europe. They have also a few discounts, so check out Toyota website. But I heard that because they have on stock and it comes the new facelift. As you probably know, the new model, the new CHR will be presented probably next month in uh, Munchen. And I will be there and I will review it. I will film it for you. I will give you all the information on the channel. So if you didn't subscribe yet, now is the perfect time to do it. Because of that, because the new model will come out, they still have on stock those, those cars and they sell it for a good price. So take a look there. Anyway, in general, this is the presentation. The visibility from the part of the driver and the front part of the passenger, you have a lovely visibility because this window is kind of extended until in the back. The only, only thing that I find, you know, I, I just try to study the car in details and the only view that it's kind of not so good in the back for the passenger, other than that and the lights that are halogen, the car is wonderful from the front part of the driver, not only that you have a lot of space here and as, as a driver, if I go here, let me go here, let me close the lights. Here in this uh, seat, you have lovely visibility and also lovely comfort, even though you have manual adjustable seats, so you have to adjust it from here and from here, just like that. It's very, very bright. And also down here, you have this side support, side support here. You have a lovely position of driving and also the steering wheel. You have leather steering wheel, great grip, a physical button here to change different, uh, different uh, settings. It's nice. From the front part, it's really nice. Great visibility in this mirror up here. Great visibility of the windows because they extend it. And also they position very well also this multimedia system here, by the way. Let me see while position those, the, this multimedia perfect. And I will show you right now because I connect it also with my phone. It's in, in my pocket. And the car, even though it's an older model, it comes also with up play and let me connect and then we'll be connected in in no time i think it need a little bit of time to connect i think i disconnected before because you see here on my phone it's still connected right now it should connect one more time i don't know why here it stay like that one more time uh, I don't know why it's not working but before it was working quite 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 fine and let me go to Bluetooth one more time and it should be down there or up here where is it I connect so many cars I don't know which one it is but you have to get here let, let me forget this and we will start over if you start over let's let me go back. Okay, then that Bluetooth set another Viva. If not found press here, dance iPhone and wait a few seconds. And then it asks you here to pair. Pair it right here. Yeah, as I promised you, I, I definitely show you right now how to can connect how can you connect it to this CHR or this multimedia system from Toyota, the old version I will show you right now. And down. It's just that simple. And now you can use uh, Apple CarPlay without any problem, voice command, everything, map, navigation, everything you need, you have it right here. In general, I like very much also the center console, the way they put the buttons, you have auto hold, electronic handbrake, EV mode, if you have enough battery, you can drive only in electric mode. Stock, I think it's, it's small, it's nice, and it looks sporty. And also, of course, more details about the car, we will talk as we go, but also the climatic system, physical button, simple to use. Uh, look at the view. I tell you, it's, it's a great view in the back there. I have nothing to complain from, from the point of view of comfort of sitting here on the seats. And by the way, those seats are the seats with kind of uh, leather and we have this textile material. I think the, the seats are gorgeous, even though they are not the most expensive. They are really, really comfortable. Let me close the door because it will beep a lot. The tank, it's 43 liters. 
The power 184 horsepower, more than enough for city and highway. You have consumption, they claim it's 5.3 liter. And right now we will drive the car, we will go together to drive it and we will see what will be the consumption in the end. I will try to show you in the nighttime a separate video where I can show you the lights, the way it looks, and also a test drive in the nighttime. I know many people ask me and wanna see that. And I will try to show you all those details about the car, but I'm super excited. I didn't wanna make another kind of a classic review with the car and show you uh, the same thing over and over again. I wanna make it a little bit different and I wanna give you my feedback about how was to drive it i'm like imagine that this is my car and i give you my feedback right now but in general i like the car it's quite nice guys now let's drive it and if you still have questions ask me down in the comment let's drive it let's see the consumption as well and then we will make the, the end of the video but uh, yeah if you have questions ask me down below let's go let's drive it guys let's drive right now and we see the consumption and also i give you some feedbacks this is the key the simple key i think you already see it before also it comes with keyless entrance electric folding mirrors and all that stuff that i don't need to show you anymore the seats you already see it i tell you it's super comfy also we have normal pedals i will leave the key right here because it has this button uh, keyless start stop so so you press the brake you press this button and you're good to go you can see also the graphic there it comes a nice graphic on the screen we can see the consumption and we will reset the consumption right now it's zero but we will drive with climatic system on like we drive on all the cars on level three we i will leave it on level three climatic system on and let's drive it and now you can see that the petrol engine is kicking and you will see from time to time if you have enough battery the petrol engine will be completely close and it will drive with uh, in electric mode you can see down here we have electronic handbrake auto hold ev mode that means if you press this button you can see right now it's an unavailable but if you press this button and if you have enough battery the car will drive only in electric mode then look how interesting it is if you go into the menu here if you go on the right side on the settings vehicle settings uh, you have some setups here but if you go down up here to the driving mode you have three different driving mode normal sport and eco mode we will drive in eco mode but keep in mind how interesting and how complicated they put these different driving modes so i wish it was much more simple with a simple button here than to go into the menu there but it's just fine you know i mean it's okay here on the gear shifter you just have reverse for example if you press the brake you go in reverse you have a button here you press it so you have the reverse camera relatively fine resolution and if you go all the way back you have drive mode and if you go left you have s like sport mode and then you change the gears manual and you go up down you see s1 s2 s3 and it goes like manual so let's drive it i want to go out from this and go to the toyota and i want to show you also this nice graphic interesting graphic right here but yeah i guess let's drive it guys let's put it on 22 degrees and i leave it on level three maybe automatic no manual 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 let me manual because i test all the cars manual level three and this is the nice graphic that shows you what happened with the energy it goes to the electric motor you can see it right here in the middle if i'm not wrong it's integrated in the gear shifter then it's the battery 1.1 kilowatt hour battery and then it's the petrol engine and it kind of work together so right now you can hear the petrol engine it's on but it's so easy to drive it's like driving an uh, an electric car the only thing that's different is just the noise because you hear the petrol engine sometimes uh, that's rev on when you accelerate and sometimes you hear it when it's running but other than that um, it is it is like an electric car you press the acceleration it's act like an, uh, an electric car and you press the brake you press the acceleration you have two pedals you have an automatic transmission super easy so i don't miss at all uh, to be honest i don't miss the easiness of driving an electric car so coming from a tesla model y to this uh, i don't feel like oh my god it's so complicated and something like that the only thing that's come in your mind is just sometimes the noise from the engine but other than that 
it's just like driving an electric car you see you just press everything it's linear because it's a ECVT transmission it doesn't change any any gear so everything is so smooth uh, forward of course it doesn't have that crazy acceleration it can do 0 to 108.2 seconds and the maximum top speed is 180 km per hour but other than that I, I don't I don't care about speed and stuff like that and also this car is not about speed this car it's about driving in the city smooth driving economical driving and stuff like that then by the way about those things we will see how the car is handling uh, and we will see the consumption in the end we will try to try to drive in the city and also uh, on the on the highway a little bit so you will see most of the time will be like a, like a city driving in general it's relatively smooth and silent inside the car the sound insulation it's relatively good what i noticed the sound insulation is good when it comes to upper side of the car but sometimes when i go over some potholes uh, you hear some noise from down you know um, also what i'm impressed to see is that this car it's much more comfortable over the bumps then tesla model y tesla model 3 it's really really comfortable over the bumps so even though in in uh, in my country there are so many uh, holes in the in the road and so many bumps is doing just fabulous over the bumps it's, it's super super comfy so you at, at long trips over the bumps you shouldn't worry at all because it's super super comfortable and nice outside it's pretty hot of course and I will still leave it on uh, level 3 right here on 22 degrees also another thing that I notice is that the steering wheel it's very very assisted and very soft and very nice that's that's add to the easiness of driving so you can drive the car super super easy uh, because it's super smooth also you have a nice driving position a little bit taller than the normal uh, sedan cars I should say so in general also on the roundabouts on the left right those kind of corners you can drive very easy it's so compact um, it's I told you and here it's a big bump and the car is doing fine um, I told you guys it's it's a great crossover SUV compact for the for the driving is just incredible um, agile I should say this is the world it's crazy crazy agile it feel light even though it has around 1500 kilograms it's quite light you know and here we can kind of test the the turning cir circle it has 10.4 meter turning circle the drag coefficient is 0 0.32 and you can see you kind of turn it in small spaces and this for me it's crazy crazy useful and also you park it very easy in small spaces for example it's a, a parking lot right here let me show you how easy you park it you just go in reverse and then you look in the camera it has sensors four sensors on the rear yeah let me check that four sensors on the rear and four sensors on the uh, on the front i think look at this it's crazy easy you park it easy you drive it easy wait a second i think my camera oh no it's good and then you put it in drive and just drive it just like that crazy and you can see this graphic here on the screen that shows you how much battery you still have because the climatic system it's on right now the battery is still on level three lines it has a few lines there and it's charge is discharge it stay between two and uh, maybe uh, two lines down two lines up it stays between there it's always charging itself so it kind of choose automatically when to charge and when to discharge so easy it's so nimble it's just it's just perfect for for those type of driving 
I think it's a great all-arounder to be honest of course it's kind of hard when you have a big family and you have to carry a lot of stuff um, in the back but if you are a solo if you are two a group of yeah you know like you and your wife and your girlfriend and um, you don't carry too many people in the back too many baggage in the back I think this car it's it's great and also it looks nice as I said before great visibility in the mirrors by the way great visibility around the windows it's a great that they extend this window in the front so I have a fabulous uh, view also by the way keep in mind that the car come with blind spot technology it comes with um, all kind of sensors and radar and from here from behind the steering wheel on the down part you have the setup for the cruise control I cannot set it right now because it's like let me show you if you go down right now you just activate it but here it's kind of complicated um, it's not a road for that so I will try to get you on a better road where we can go a little bit on the on the highway and we can test those lines you know like here for example you can set it from here you just set it to let's say 73 you know and then the car will keep this uh, speed for you and it will accelerate it will brake depend what the car uh, in front will do uh, it will do as well so for, for example if the car in front will brake it will brake and it will kind of uh, keep this distance so let me show you right now if I set this up you just go down and then I set it to let me see 45 yes and then you just leave it roll and then you can see right now the car it's braking itself I don't have to do anything it's just go to a completely stop it has also auto hold and it will just stop you see it's just stop I do nothing because it's set up I don't know if you can see it on the screen right there it's set to 46 km per hour you have of course the lane assist right here that works as well so for example if you press it you activate the steering assist active lane centering active so right now it's it's activated if you want to play you can see right now it shows you right there it stays between the lanes and it shows you a graphic in the front that is doing so so you know that or anyway you can change from here you can go left and right now you know and the car can read the traffic speed limits and he knows what kind of speeds you are driving and you have to drive and stuff like that so you can see right now it sees the car in front and it stays between the lanes it accelerate it's braking it's just perfect for traffic perfect for highway what I recommend you hold your hands on the steering wheel all the time because this is really important so you can see right now the system it's active there and it shows you also the speed the the speed and stuff and it's a waiting it's a super smart system and uh, Toyota improved this over the year all over the years all the time they improve it and I'm curious on the new CHR uh, how good will be you know and in, in the future will be really really good system um, in general I like the car for example if the car in front it's start driving I'm not sure and we will test it right now if you have to press the acceleration in order that your car to to start driving we will see that and here we can go to trip information to see our consumption uh, it's 8.4 liters right now right yes 8.4 liters was our consumption this is kind of a traffic and waiting and if I press the acceleration you can see the car start driving yes so you have to press the acceleration in order to activate it when you when you leave from uh, the, the the stop you know right now the car is stop and when the car in front is moving you have to press a little bit of acceleration in order to put it in motion you know ah look at uh yeah anyway it's nice and uh, it's pleasant to be here the climatic system it's more powerful than we need so yeah probably we can go on level two i think it's just fine or maybe not maybe leave it like that for the test and now look he's, he's going yeah i have to press the acceleration yeah and once you press the acceleration my car will move as well so yeah this system it's really good on the highway i will try to go a little bit on the highway to show you how it works on 
on uh, a better road where the lanes are really clear if you drive on the roads where the lanes are super clear then will be just perfect anyway a uh, super good car super well-built car uh, right now we are in the city you can see how crowded it's here it's outside it's pretty noisy and a lot of cars and inside the cabin it's it's nice it's pleasant it's it's quiet when you press the brake the car will regenerate the energy back into the battery you can see right here uh, if you press the brake smoothly if you accelerate smoothly everything will be really really nice and smooth if you want to change the driving modes you have to go into the menu here and then change the driving mode right now we are in echo mode and I feel like I have more than enough power for this kind of driving so uh, sport mode right now it doesn't make any sense and if you release the acceleration you can see that the car it's rolling and also it's kind of recuperate a little bit of energy back into the batteries so if you are gentle with the acceleration pedal the car will be gentle with your pocket so it will save more money for you to buy candies or whatever you want to buy or save money for the next Toyota CHR and we have to stop here you know this is traffic this is this is city you know stop and go it's a perfect test for us if you want to accelerate you hear these revs this is the only thing that's different from the electric cars you know you just hear that rev on like that's the only thing other than that it's perfectly perfectly uh, smooth and nice and simple and it's not that noisy you know once you get used with it it's like integrated in your in your uh, uh, day you know like you don't even notice it and I like how um, how easy it is to drive and I like the fact that you don't feel that t -t 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 every time it's changed the gears you know that's super smooth the transmission I know this Toyota with hybrid system they are so good I mean the transmission between electric and petrol between the engine and motors are so smooth it's just fabulous they are really good and this is not the latest uh, hybrid system if I'm not wrong uh, I think on the Toyota Prius the Prius yeah the new Prius has even more improved the system and it's even better it's crazy anyway it's super good right now uh, I don't know they all the time improve sometimes there's some some things there it's just boy I was thinking so much buying a Toyota hybrid uh, before I buy my Model Y but I kind of charge all the time for free you know um, because I sell so many cars for Tesla I charge all the time for free and it's make no sense driving other cars for the moment but Toyota it's 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 between the best you know it's between my list for sure for a future uh, car And if, yeah, actually let me try that out, man. Let me go to driving modes. Let's go in sport mode. Let's see what happened. We are in sport mode right now. And we will try an acceleration when we get the... Uh-huh. Ooh, it's much more responsive. I already feel when you press the acceleration, it's much more responsive. So it has some life in it, this engine, this, this system. You, actually when you think about 184 horsepower it's 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 a lot it should be nice it has auto hold so if you press the brake and auto hold it's activated it should hold like right now and then you press the acceleration it's just running 7.4 liter we have consumption until now city driving climatic system on I'm kind of cold right now let me put it a little bit on the second level 
and we also try some accelerations. And we didn't drive, I didn't try to drive economical, I just drive normal as you see before. Actually, let me go on the right side here. Ah, just like that. Look, right now we drive electric. You can see here, right now it's just electric. Only electric. Here it's a big pump. Look at it. Oh boy, it's so smooth. Independent McPherson suspensions in the front, double wishbone. And on the rear, very good suspensions. And it's quiet. You can hear only the climatic system. It's just not bad, it's not bad at all. It's crazy traffic, right? Look at the traffic. This is. This is the traffic when all the people go home, you know, like five, six o'clock. I find the perfect time to make the, <laughs> the test drive on the traffic. So this is the perfect time to, to make a, a traffic <laughs> test drive consumption, you know, <laughs> like we will get bored here. We stay here like two minutes. We stay on the on one traffic sign for, I think, two times. We already stay once. This is second one. I hope we get it. Oh, but if we have to go left, that will be tragic. And we are lucky. And here it's a big bump. I don't want to kill the car. It's not mine. Oh, you see that? I just barely pressed the acceleration. You, you really feel the difference between different driving modes. So from Echo to Sport, you feel the difference when you press the acceleration. Wow, I like it. I start to like it. I think you can have some fun with it in some places. It should be fun. Nice. Anyway, another thing that I wish the car had, it's here in the door bands, a little bit more space for a bottle, a bigger bottle, because I like to drink a lot of water, like two liters. I want to have here this space, you know? Other than that, gorgeous. I mean, here it's everywhere soft material on the dashboard, even here, soft material. It, it's easy to reach out all those buttons here to change the climatic system and temperature and easy to, to move and change different uh, settings from here, from the steering wheel, physical button everywhere. Everything is simple. I like that. Um, and also it's soft material here, soft here, armrest, perfect. I have a perfect driving position, big mirror up there, so I have great position. I have nothing to complain. I mean, there are, there are little things, you know? And if I try to drive economical, I tell you guys, I can beat the consumption without any problem. Right now it's 7.2 liters in, in kind of a worse, worst conditions of driving you know like it's it's really really bad right now and super traffic and stop and go and stop and go and the car right now the petrol engine right now it's close where on the polo from the front bmw in the front or even this octavia skoda and even the volvo there it's running the engine right now you know it's just eating 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 gas eating money not gas and what that mean that mean i'm just right now electric you know is from what i recuperate but the cars that are icy they do, didn't recuperate they don't recuperate nothing you know they just lost energy and right now i just look in this traffic until the traffic sign in the front i'm just driving in electric because i have half battery you know this is a perfect example on uh, why the hybrid, full hybrid cars are a better choice than the normal IC cars, you know, like combustion engine normal cars. I'm not saying go electric, but I'm saying just full hybrids are better than normal IC, you know, and it doesn't need too much maintenance 
in comparison with a normal IC car, you know. And yeah, I think if you're not ready yet for an electric, full electric, I don't recommend you plug in hybrids. I don't think it's the way to go. It's too complicated. You have to charge it all the time. But full hybrids, the perfect weight between. Yeah, why? Why is this is not fair, man? They cut the. They cut the road. We stay here, and they just go like go, go, go. Is not fair for us. Last chance. I wait one more time. You know. Anyway, I think you understand. Full hybrids are, uh, I think, from my point of view, better than mild hybrids and also better than plug-in hybrids and now it's green there in the front and they move so slow and now it's red oh boy ah, i think the next one we will we will do it but it's a good test i mean why not staying here it's a good test still electric still 7.1 we have less and and the problem right now is the climatic system if i close the climatic system we don't consume anything you know because yeah even if i go a little bit forward you just consume a little bit of energy because it's running with uh, with energy but as long as i uh, stay in one place it's just close this climatic system just like that bomb and right now I just don't use any energy and look I have the car with full tank and I have just like little 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 and I drive a lot today and it's just little gas off it's not bad really it's good but I want to put it on turn it on not auto second third level okay just like that let me leave it realistic this is the worst conditions of traffic from my point of view i don't know it can be worse than this just is like the worst time when the people go home from work in every major big city in the world is just super traffic you know and this is the this is it those are the conditions I don't think I will find a better test for driving in the city than this one to show you in a video. And right now it's green and I can't, I'm not going to, to wait anymore for the next one. And they move so slow, so slow, man. I don't know. Now, the sport mode, you can hear it. You can hear the revs. It's really, it really push you back a little bit, even though it says 8.2 seconds, 0 to 100. It push you back a little bit in the, in the seat. Again, stop. 7.3 liter consumption. Now we will go a little bit forward and then it's the highway and we go outside on the highway and then uh, we will get back and we will end up the video but in general i think you make uh, an idea about the car if you want to see the full review i have i think two reviews with gr sport and the uh, the normal version i don't remember which one was but i have a few reviews a few test drive a few consumption tests on the channel if you want to see them check them out if you still have question ask me down in the comment uh, whatever question you have oh my god again red I can't believe that I think they push the button for the red and then they just pass and then now we stay on red it's nice lucky us the test get real and real <laughs> for the traffic anyway I'm not rushing anywhere but <laughs> it's like I don't know it's like when you wait in traffic it's like crazy boring you know what I mean it's not that you are waiting for something right now the petrol engine is kicking you see because I press it a little bit more stronger but still you see right now it's it's running with the electric motor it's just I'm just pressing a little bit smoother the acceleration and just 
you just keep the speed there running, you know? Yeah, that's bad. This this is looking really bad. This will kill my consumption. The climatic system will kill my test because we will stay too much here in this traffic with the climatic system on. It's not good for the <laughs> for the consumption. 7.3 liter now. I don't think I will get a better than 7 liter. <laughs> but I bet, I bet with you if I had that BMW from there, the consumption was around 10 or more. I'm not sure. But I think that. Yeah, that we put it on level 1. Because I'm sure we'll stay here 5 minutes. Anyway, right now the car is just... If I turn it off, it's just didn't run with the petrol so the petrol it's resting right now 28 degrees outside if I go down here you can see some information on the cockpit and you can see how much range we still have right now and what was the average speed 24 km per hour and here is the graphic with energy monitoring that shows you where the energy go the G meter and how many percentage how much we drive in electric mode, 74%. It's not bad at all. Yeah, other than that, I want to show you the Apple CarPlay. Meanwhile, this is it. It's quite nice. And the great part with Apple CarPlay is that you can use the voice command from the steering wheel. So if you go to voice command, like press it for three seconds, and then you can ask how many degrees are today in New York? Sorry, I can't show you the result while you're in the car. What are you talking about? How many degrees are out today in New York? The high today in New York, United States will be 31 degrees Celsius and the low will be 21 degrees Celsius. Not bad. Let's ask something else. Um, do you know Toyota CHR? Tell me something about it. Sorry, I can't show you the result while you're in the car. All right, navigate to Paris, Hilton. Getting directions to restaurant cafe Fitro. Ma. Navigate to Paris. Getting directions to Paris. You see, and it shows you the traffic. And right now we can see the traffic that it's ahead of us right here. It's right in the front on this. Starting route. Oh my God. In it's 300 meters, red what it's right red so -so it's red you know it's like crazy red yeah but we will not going to yeah let's see if it can cancel the route cancel the navigation ending navigation nice not bad what else we can do here play some music yeah let's see how is the music i have some music and we can test those sound system is I think this is the I think this is the basis sound system is not the GBL I'm not sure yeah I think it's the basis one on this version I don't have the informations here yeah they are in the back but this is the the normal the base sound system so we can actually see this is my music so I can Ah, you can do it also from the steering wheel. By the way, all this music you can find it on artlist.io Wow, it's not bad man, I mean really good to be honest I didn't expect to be that good but it's it's quite good it's the base it's good and I I just put it to 50% I think 100 it will be so strong Wow 
wow it has bass it has everything it's nice quality is good Nice. The bass is great. The bass sounds really good, man. I love it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. good great job really really great job i think uh, the sound system is good it's more than good we're still in traffic 7.1 liter consumption 22 degrees <laughs> level three actually uh, let me put it on auto i leave it on auto auto it's worse than uh, auto it's worse than than many and you can change the, the stations from here you just do it like that you don't have to go there all the time and we can do it from the steering wheel from those physical buttons you can hear this bass man it's deep green and then we go outside we go on the highway come on man we can accelerate right now oh quite nice man it's nice it feels nice, it has that power that you need it. It's, it's crazy good. Now, let me set this system. Let me set it to 73, right? And right now the car is stay between the lanes. It's accelerated, it's braking. It's do all the job for you. You don't have to do anything. Let me close this music. And this time we don't need it anymore. But not, look at this. And right now it's just brake. It sees that the car in front is braking and the car is braking for you automatically. It says all the time, hold the hand on the steering wheel totally recommend you to have your hands on the steering wheel but the car is doing great now it's accelerate it's braking depend what car in front will do the lanes are really clear so it's very useful in this kind of situation i want to take the control and press the brake here it's complicated so it's not a super autonomous system they still have to improve a lot of stuff but in general i tell you it's just a good system it's great for the traffic, it's great where the lanes are quite clear and you hear the acceleration, it's super nice, super smooth and if you want to pass by, just change the lanes and you have the power to pass by we are in sport mode, 
no problem. You have blind spot technology in the corners, you pass by very simple, just like that. Very smooth, smooth and easy. And then you can again activate this system. You just go down, you activate this system to 100. Right now the lane assist are working. The car will stay between the lanes, will keep uh, the steering wheel. You can see it stay between the lanes in the middle. It's quite nice, quite good. It says hold your hands, always hold your hand on the steering wheel. But for the test safety, I will have the hands here. But uh, the car, it stay automatically between the lanes and it's hold the speed, it's braking, depend what the car in front will do, it's accelerating, it's doing really really good. Look at this, it's perfect. Nothing to, to complain about that, it's just doing itself. Hold the job, it's just like that, holding. And this is the, this is great for highway, you know, you have your hands here, you let your car drive itself, it stay between the lanes and you can relax, you know, it's take out your stress, if you're tired, you go home after work, it's just let you relax and rest your arms here on the steering wheel. Of course, you have to take care of the road, left, right, never trust those autopilots, but it's easy. It's much more easier and it's great to know that you have this system on your car, you know? It's, it's good to know that. It's good to know that you have those systems on the car and um, that you, you can drive relaxing, you know? And of course you can set all those stuff. For example, again, if you have the Android, you see the car is still driving itself. Hold it for three seconds. Navigate to IKEA. One option is IKEA on Sosa in QSD ISD in Bucharest, about six kilometers to your west, and it gets 100% positive ratings. Just Bam! And you just choose, and it's navigating there. You know, like press go. Starting route to IKEA. It's just go. In 1.8 kilometers, take exit center of UQSD towards Constantinople. You see, it's just easy. Easy busy. Let me press the brake, take the control right now and it's great that at 100 km, by the way, I didn't test it before, if we go a little bit higher to 120, we have 130 here, you hear a little bit of noise from outside, not from the road but kind of a wind noise at this highway speed, you know? After 100, you, you start to hear a little bit of noise. Take exit center of UQSD towards Constanta and Vitesti, then at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Soso de Centra. It's not something um, too much, but it is a little bit of noise from outside. And now it's just go back to normal. Uh, under 100 is just fine. And right now the car will just recuperate back the energy we have like seven liter consumption until now so pretty good nice really nice no I tell you it's it's, it's a good car I think it's we have enough I think I test everything guys in this video I don't want to make it too long <laughs> But I think we tested enough. We have like 7 liter consumption until now on our trip. And the climatic system is still on on automatic 22 degrees. I don't know. It gets to 6.9 liter right now. So I think if you drive it uh, in no traffic, you can get a great consumption out of this car. They are, they are really, really good and efficient. Take the second exit onto so, so if so we central. put it back to, to manual, for example, on level 2, and we don't stay in so much traffic, the consumption will be really good.
think we will stop right now. I want to find a place to park and to end up the video because if I go back, it will be too long. Way too long the video. So we will go here. Proceed to the roof. Turn left. So maybe let's go forward there. I think it's just fine here. We can go turn here. Left, then make a sharp right turn. Yeah, we will stop here and then we will go back again. So, guys, In that was the video. And route. Just like that. Alright. So, guys, that was the video. You can see you have the reverse camera. You can park it so simple. It has parking sensors. 6.9 liter was the consumption so to make an idea right now i will put the climatic system a little bit lower because it's strong enough that was the trip i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get some useful information from this video also i hope this video bring you the answer to some of your question and if you are on the market for a car in this class i totally advise you to go and test drive it and go and see the car because this Toyota CHR it's it's a great great car I mean reliable probably no Toyota make those cars for years those hybrid systems it's very comfortable it's very silent it's very easy to drive and yeah it's a great car as I said before Anyway, if you have questions, ask me down below whatever you want to ask. I will answer with pleasure. If you find this video useful and you want to see more of those kind of videos in the future, all the new cars will come on the channel. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. So thank you very much, guys. I guess I see you soon in the next one. By the way, I will make also a test drive in the nighttime. If you want to see it, stay close. And also I will try to show you in a video the lights, interior, exterior and also the lights in the night time. I will drive a little bit and show you the high bin and the low bin to make an idea. But in general, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I guess I see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.